Hi, um, come in. Thanks. Can I get you a tea or coffee or anything? Um, uh, water would be great, please. So, uh, sorry, um, are you the solicitor? No, no, I'm Madeline's, was Madeline's, your grand's carer. Oh, sorry. I think the solicitor's coming at five, so... Did you know about this? No. She didn't even know she was ill. Well, I think she didn't want to worry you. I mean, I'm just a bit confused. Um, I'm her only living relative and I just... Do you know who this Marcus is? Did she have a partner or...? I, I didn't know. Yeah. Obviously, everything else went to you. Yeah, she said it would. And I certainly didn't ask her to. Should have visited her. How long were you a carer? Five years. Three years living. You live here? I did. Did? Moved out when she died. So, the solicitor wants us to sign a memorandum. I just don't really understand why you, because you were paid to be here. Miss Robbins, I think we've... Cat. Cat, sorry, we've sort of found ourselves... Just, I like, am of... her granddaughter, and I just feel that, I like... really didn't know she was going to do this. I mean, I had no idea. The only person who knew about it was the solicitor. Yeah, yeah, the solicitor, the yeah. Um, that makes sense. The thing is, though, how well did you know her? Cat, I... I because I didn't even know that she was ill, and then suddenly I was at this funeral, and then I get a phone call out the blue, and I just... Is it because I didn't visit her? Is that what she told you? She didn't tell me anything. Yeah, well, me neither. Let me go make a phone call. Sam Lodger. Hi, it's Kat Robbins. We're not meeting until five, Miss Robbins. Okay, look, I didn't know it was the carer. I mean, how well did he even know my nan? Is, is this actually what she wanted? Is the will right? Miss Robbins, this is what I was trying to tell you the other day. I know it may come as a shock, but I can assure you the will is correct, and she was fully complimentous when she wrote it. I know Mr. Hellier meant an awful lot to your grandmother. She wanted to leave him something that would make a difference to his life. She made sure he never knew. Hope you might be here. No, she used to have me bring her here every Sunday, 2 p.m., rain or shine. Sometimes against the doctor's orders. Some girls' football. Yeah. She talked about watching you every week. By her say, you should have gone pro. No one else was as good as you. <laughs> The week she died, she had me pack up all your old kit so you could have it when you came back. It's not about the house, you know. She always said that she'd leave it to someone else. Mm. And I mean, she gave me the deposit for my flat, so... So she'd rather see me happy while she was alive. Mm. I just feel like if I visited her, then she would have told me. And I feel like she gave it to you because I didn't visit or call or... She didn't love me anymore. She would tell me all about how you loved birds as a kid. And she'd tell me all the different types. Never thought I'd be able to tell the difference between a wren and a dunnock, but hey, I can. Towards the end, her sight started to go a bit, a lot. And so she would get me to describe all the different birds that we could hear. I'd describe one, she'd tell me what it was. And then the next time I saw it, I'd go, hey, look, there's a chaffinch. Of course, then she told me off, because that wasn't the point. The point was the description. I would describe them so she could work out what they were all on her own. 
one time I asked why, and she said because she wanted something to talk to her granddaughter, the ornithologist, about. And then, of course, she told me that you were the real expert on birds. <laughs> this is a fun that a hundred times already. Why didn't she call me? Why didn't you call me? I don't know. She told me not to. I think, honestly, she just didn't want you to see how she was at the end. Yeah, well, I should have come anyway. I miss her. Is that wrong? I know I didn't see her for years and I didn't even really think about it, but now I miss her. Me too. No, she wasn't a patient, she was a friend. I really didn't ask her to do No, no, I, I get it, I get it. We talk about her. She's family. She loved you. I'm just